Your deeds will follow you. Your commitment will follow you. His has, and that's part of why he's being honored. His leadership has um, inspired others to emulate um, leadership roles, emulate him in assuming leadership roles in philanthropy. When I was fairly young, it happened to coincide around the time of my bar mitzvah. Uh, when a business that dad spent years developing uh, fell on extremely hard times, causing him to have to leave that industry. Some people go through life and have small bumps. This was a huge bump and it was quite traumatic and devastating. And rather than moan and complain, I saw my father pick himself up. I saw him do jobs that uh, required countless hours. Everybody thinks Marvin's a really cool, sort of calm and collected guy, but he's got a temper like you've never seen. I don't want to tell you what he's said to me over the years. He's always, and this is part of Marvin's charm, he's always given me a huge hug and a kiss afterwards, and I always felt better and he felt better. But part of his charm is his ability to tell people the absolute truth and get away with it. You will not find a photo of him with a hair out of place. He's always um, in, a, in a suit and tie and he takes great care with his appearance even as a young child. Dad would show up, I think he even showed up to the town fire in a suit and a tie. I'm not making that one up. He came from Massey and we didn't, didn't think any Jewish people lived in Massey. Massey is one hour west of Sudbury, very small town and so small in fact that I remember being at university in the early 70s and we got notification that they were having a ceremony because they were getting their very first stoplight and this was a big deal. Rose and Henry uh, Sadowski were given land to homestead in Massey, which is why they, they settled there, and they opened up the general store. And I know he loved my sister dearly, and that was very important to George, my brother George and me. We, uh, we wanted to make sure our sister was well looked after. And one thing my, mo my mother had always taught us was family unity, so the three of us were very close. And, when Ruthie brought Marvin around, we quickly approved of him. I was made of honor at their wedding. I've loved Marv from the moment I met him. And he's been part of my life since my childhood. My dad is just a simple guy from Massey, but he really stepped up to the plate in everything, in his marriage, in his fathering, and in his, uh, in his work. He, he really is solid.